So with all that data on the table, how much do people actually walk and cycle? Across these cities, cars and motorcycles still dominate. They account for about 74% of all passenger kilometers traveled, while public transport makes up roughly 23%. Walking and cycling together are just a thin slice of the pie. In the study cities, walking accounts for about 14.3% of all trips, and cycling adds another 2.1%. So roughly one in six trips is made on foot or by bike. But those trips are usually short. When you look at distance instead of trips, walking drops to about 2% of total kilometers and cycling to around 0.9%. That's only about 2.9% of travel distance done by active modes. And here's a detail that often gets missed. In this data set, walking is doing most of the work. Walking accounts for around seven times as many trips as cycling and around 2.3 times as many kilometers. So when we talk about active cities, we're starting from a pretty stark baseline. Almost everywhere, the vast majority of distance is still traveled by private motor vehicles. And most of the active travel that does happen is people walking, not riding bikes.